Shine here, Kambacho, Project Farm. Just had a 28 mil uh, rainfall event this afternoon and I'm down here looking at some of our recent work we did with putting in some little rock weirs. So this was a major head cut which we've now got bubbly water. We got water quite still in there. You could park your kayak in there if you wanted to. So you can see the water spilling in. And here's our rock weir, which is working perfectly. So this is this is pushing the water out either side of this structure and then it's coming back together just in here so again we got the bubbles in the water which is telling us that it's being de-energized and then it goes on down to the next structure same thing here we've got the the water coming out either side coming back together just below the structure and then we go on down this next one's a little different this next one's a um, a vehicle crossing so same deal we're pushing the water out both sides of this it's obviously coming over in the middle as well on this one because we haven't got the height in the middle of the rock being a, a roadway but we're still getting that water coming from either side water on water to de-energize you've got to love the color of this water like it's crystal clear water coming down this channel and then this is where we go down to where the water actually starts to pick up pace. You can see this water here is reasonably slow. It's coming through this choke point here and it's picking up pace. So this is another place where I'll put a, a structure in. We've already had grass tussocks there but they've been compromised by various machines and, and livestock. But yeah, that's where it picks up pace again. It's trying to go out either side. It won't take many rocks to, to set this up. So it'll pond the water back into the other one a bit more and it'll get the water going out in that pattern that we talk about in natural sequence farming to bring water onto water to the energizer. And then we go on down. This is the final structure. This is quite an interesting one because this is ponding water right back out away from the incised channel. So it's ponding water right back out here. But this was done with, not with rocks, this was done with, with old concrete slabs that I busted up and carted down here. But you can see what it's doing, same thing, pushing the water out either side, calm water in the middle there, and then it comes back together and this is fascinating, I was, I was here before, I didn't have my camera, but I was, I was fascinated by these reeds. Look at the way these reeds in here are vibrating. The whole thing is just like the, the, the signature of nature working. And this goes on down then, we've got another head cut down here into this pond, and then we go on down to the pragmites down there. So pretty much got this incised channel now fairly well managed. There's not much work left to do and this whole thing will start to fill in and hold water and push the water out the sides into the landscape. So that's it for me today. Trust you're getting under the storms as well. Like we've had 178 millimetres for November so far and we've got another storm coming up back there so could score another one tonight who knows 
Oh, yeah, 178 millimeters for November so far. Awesome rain. Bye-bye.